Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to Day 94 of 100 Days 100 Concepts. Today in this video, we'll discuss about a simple yet important relation between the wavelength and the acceleration voltage. Okay, so one of the important formula that people usually skip from uh, characterization. So before uh, moving on, I also want to give a word about the free webinar that I am actually conducting on February 10th at 7 p.m. If people who are interested to join, again, this is not for people who already are appearing for GAY 2021, but I strongly urge people who are actually want to prepare seriously for GAY 2022 or 23 to go check out the link that you have in the description. Okay. So please enroll for this. That's uh, a simple form. Okay, you need to just uh, fill that, fill it up, and join our WhatsApp group in order to know more details about it. And what we'll be discussing in that? This is basically introducing to you about why GATE is actually a crucial examination, which will be you know uh, a deciding factor for your career paths and what career paths that you have. Right. So that is what we are going to discuss. February 10th, 7 p.m. I hope everyone who are interested to enroll for this webinar will register in the link in the description. So now coming back to the video, the wavelength and the voltage relation. So first of all, we'll see a quick derivation. How come you can easily relate the wavelength of particular, uh, let's say, electrons or particular incident beams and the voltage? So simply this is basically discussing you about let's say electron microscopy this relation is very very important in what electron microscopy okay for example a cm tm where you actually use certain voltage certain power which we call acceleration voltage which is actually converted to kinetic energy which converts the voltage the power into kinetic energy of the electrons and that is actually emitting with a certain wavelength that is what this relation is all about so quickly we'll discuss and uh, derive this how uh, you know this relation comes about so it's pretty much easy so i hope every one of us knows about the de broglie's theory de broglie's wavelength equation right what is it it tells that the wavelength is equal to h by mv correct this is my de broglie's equation correct which we already know which we studied which we call uh, an equation of a matter wave correct so what is h here h is a planck's constant right so i'll start with this and try to get a relation between a wavelength and the voltage so it's pretty much simple okay so mv equal to h by lambda okay just rearrange this thing now let me square this so what do i have m square v square equal to h square by lambda square now i if you already got any idea i want to convert this guy over here this lhs into what kinetic energy term so for that what you need to do you just need to multiply by 1 by 2m on both the sides correct only then you get what you get half mv square 1m gets cancelled equal to h square by 2m lambda square correct this is what we got now if you carefully see what did i say what is this guy this is nothing but the kinetic energy of what of electrons let's say uh, the matter waves are of electrons but as I already mentioned previously, that the kinetic energy of the electron is actually generated from what? That is actually coming from the energy that is gained from this accelerating voltage that you are giving in, which you are providing as an input. Okay. So, what you can actually make it is from here, the kinetic energy is for nothing but my electron volt which you are providing so from here what you will be getting ev equal to h square by 2m lambda square if 
for example i mean just by taking it on the other side lambda is what after removing the root you get h by let me write it somewhere here lambda equal to h by root 2 m e v right so this is how you got the relation therefore what is the relation that you got lambda is inversely proportional to root to v but this is not is the case because why already we said that in question let's say they'll be giving you that uh, you will be using some amount of acceleration voltage in order to emit out the electrons in a transmission electron microscopy so for that reason what you do just take the value so what is h h as i said is planck's constant what is the value of planck's constant it is 6.626 .6 into 10 power minus 34 joule second similarly what is the mass so here we are talking about electron so what is the mass of an electron it is 9.109 into 10 power minus 31 kg and what else e so electron charge okay is nothing but the electronic charge and this is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb so just put it all these values over here and interestingly you directly get equation for lambda to be root 1.5 by v okay v in voltage nanometers okay again you can just take out this uh, root 1.5 and final equation would be lambda equal to 1.22 by root v nanometer okay so usually people write this particular uh, final equation in different forms okay usually they may write in different units of uh, wavelength or different units of voltage the acceleration voltage so here we are just taking it what just uh, normal volts okay the units are volt but also there are some other versions which they consider kilovolts right so basically here if you see this is the equation that you got this is the relation that you got so lambda is inversely proportional to root v that means if you increase the voltage what is happening if you increase the voltage the lambda is actually decreasing or in other sense if you want more lambda the voltage should be less that is the reason why visible light okay visible light usually have less intensity less voltage correct so that is the reason why lambda is in the range of 400 to 700 nanometer whereas if you just say uh, if you are using 10 kilowatt 10 kilo voltage power so if that is the case if you just put in 10 kilo volts over here what will be lambda lambda when v is equal to 10 kv is how much it will be 0 0.0122 nanometer okay whereas if you are using visible light what is this lambda as i said it is 400 to 700 therefore higher the accelerating voltage smaller is the wavelength of the electrons that are emitted out and higher is the possible achievable resolution okay so the resolution is very very important right the resolution will be actually decided by my wavelength if smaller is the wavelength higher is the resolution okay so that is why in transmission electron microscopy you basically get resolution up to about 0.2 nanometer in SEM you get a resolution about 10 nanometer but what is the resolution of an eye it is just 1 mm or 0.1 mm I guess if I'm not wrong right so that is why this voltage this accelerating voltage helps us in TEM to have better resolutions with highest magnifications right I hope this video uh, put in some light on how we have arrived at this important equation and the relation between acceleration voltage and the wavelength of the electron beam right so i hope you like this video if you like it please hit the like button and also share with all the gate metallurgy aspirants and also share about the free webinar that we are conducting on february 10th 7 pm do check out the link in the description do enroll by filling in the google form as well as join our whatsapp group and the whatsapp group link is provided in the form description okay so i hope this helps and also do visit everythingmetallurgy.com we are starting 
our live classes for 2022 as well as 2023 from february 15th so if people are interested of course february 10th the free webinar is open to the enrolled members too definitely that is the first class for them but this is open to everyone who is interested to know why it is actually important so that's it from my side in this video we'll meet you again in the next video thank you guys